Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the, the Verge Lounge here at CS. I am joined, I'm very excited, uh, Mike Fasulo, the President and COO of Sony Electronics North America is here with me. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Oh, great to be here. Pleasure. Uh, so I gotta say, you had a pretty quiet set of product announcements yesterday. I love, I've been live logging the Sony keynote for like eight years now. It's one of my favorite CES traditions is to come to the big Sony show. But yesterday was a little quieter than normal. Is there, and it's a TV show. Like, where are all the TVs? I didn't, I didn't think it was quiet at all. Maybe my voice was a little <laughs> a little quiet. Um, you know, everyone's going to talk about TVs, and, and we talked about TVs yeah. last evening. And, and look, all I can say about uh, Sony television is, you know, with our 4K upscaling and now with high dynamic range, yeah. customers should go to the retail shop and visually look at comparisons. Everyone's going to talk about speeds and feeds and technology, but really it's a it's look for yourself at the picture and then choose yeah. which one you like best. I'm, I'm very confident you'll choose Sony. The TV industry's been looking for an upgrade cycle kickoff. And we for a minute it was 3D and that kind of didn't happen. 4K was here and now it's really HDR and from my perspective it feels like HDR is the thing that will kick off the big upgrade cycle. Is that how you're looking at it or are you kind of looking at it more broadly? Well, I think 4K is what's kicking off the upgrade cycle. Mm -hmm. HDR is taking it to yet another level. Yeah. And you know, when you look at at the content in HDR, it's really how the director intended it. And and just, you know, it's it's lifelike. So, yeah, yeah the the cycles in play now, um, but next this coming year, 2016, is going to be a great year for yeah. television. Okay, so from the pinnacle of visual technology to the the future of the past That's of right. audio technology. That's right. So I got to say, record players are like a theme of the show. Uh, we've seen a couple of turntables. You guys just put out this, I would say, beautiful turntable. It's very sleek and designed, and it's kind of a hybrid product, right? It's it, go, go through it with me. It's really cool. So what, what I what I thought, I mean, The Verge is, is everything about what's happening, right? Yeah. And innovative. So I thought rather than, than carry a television over, <laughs> I, I bring some really uh, neat innovative products. You know, Vinyl LP is, is such a resurgence, and it's what's so great about it is it's, it's hitting all, not only genres of, of music, but segments of population. Yeah. Millennials love it just as much as I, as I love it. So with this device here, um, it's a really cool device because it does a number of things. One, you can listen to it as a record player in analog stereo, and it has um, capability to rip yeah. through DSD in high-res audio. So you can actually take it with you on your smartphone, on your PC, on your tablet, and have high res on the go. What do you think is behind this? There's a, you know, there's a boom in vinyl sales. Um, Kazar, I was telling me yesterday that Sony Music had to go and find some <laughs> refurbished vinyl cutting machines uh, because the demand is so high. W what do you think is driving that? It, it's on the one time on the one side we're talking about how the television cycle is accelerating because the content side can do streaming so much more easily, yeah. and on the other hand. We're saying people are buying vinyl records again, yeah. so much so that it's CS 2016. You're putting on record player. Yeah. What's behind that here? Do you? Think? Who would have thought, right? Yeah. It, it, it's cool. I mean, it, you know, the texture of vinyl. It's yeah. different. It's happening. It's new. Um, it's and, new. Yeah, it's new. I mean, so so. It's um, incredible. It's it's catching on with a huge trend. So any price to release date on this guy? We're not releasing pricing at the show, but uh, this will be shipping uh, this spring to summer. Yeah. I, just, I think it's fascinating. It, right. it is it's such a 2016 cool record. And then on to the, and then it's like the crazy stuff. <laughs> so what is this? Not so crazy. Uh, well, this one, this one, I, these two are particularly. Look at crazy. that! You're holding it in your hand. You're holding an 80-inch projector. Yeah. In your hand. So that's our ultra short throw projector, and it projects a screen size from 22 inch up to 80 inch. Yeah. And uh, you can see that it's portable. Yeah. You literally hold it in your hand. You guys I mean, can't see this, but it has this like. Texture. It's. I mean, this is a beautiful little device. It's. I mean, it's Sony. It's like very well made. It has this beautiful texture on the side. It's got built-in battery. It's. Um, How long does battery last? Uh, good question. I got to get back to you on that one. Okay. So what is this for? That's for um, either living spaces that um, you know can't accept the large. Uh, screen television or for portability if you want to project uh, in the office at a meeting uh, you want to project it in different rooms of the house or if you just want to you know project content on a wall for artwork or right. you know just and so how do you how do you get content into here you, plug, uh, you stream it, a phone do you yeah you can you can HDMI it's uh, Bluetooth yeah. 
Cool. And price and release date on this guy? No pricing. So this, these two objects right here, this is a projector. This is a light bulb that has a Bluetooth speaker in it. I love this. This is so cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this in a second, but these are part of the LifeSpace, LifeSpace UX, UX. Uh, which a few years ago was a bunch of really high-end concept products projectors built into speak uh, in like sofas it was like a whole separate room of dreams that you had to like book an appointment at CES to see <laughs> and now it's several years later and where the stuff is in my hands we're here. delivering and it seems like these are kind of Sony's experiments into what new kinds of consumer electronics could look like yeah I mean you know we, we still put a significant amount of resources in R&D mm -hmm. and we're always testing and listening to customers and trying to understand Understand trends and what customers' needs and wants are, and you know some of these are novelties. Yeah, you know some of them will be mass mass products. I think that turntable is going to sell in huge quantities. Uh, you know the ultra short throw projector, may, maybe not, but it it still shows that you know Sony does lead in engineering and innovation, style and design. I mean, look at the style and design of that. Mm -hmm. You know, so tell me it's about fun. this. Tell me about this. This is funny because you <laughs> you there was a little cube speaker I had on my desk, a little Sony cube speaker, and it looked looks like you guys took that speaker and you said, what if we just put it in a light bulb? <laughs> I'm not sure that was the thinking, <laughs> but anyway, we'll go with it. Well, I love that so, little speaker. Uh, yeah, th this is um, a speaker light bulb. Yeah. So the power, when you screw it in, mm -hmm. that's the power yeah. source, and then it's Bluetooth. So you can you know, take your music from your phone and put it into your light bulb or from your PC or tablet, take it with you to a party, take it with you to another room. Take it with you. Let me just walk through the take it with you to a party scenario. Yeah, sure. So you, Mike Fasulo, have arrived at a friend's home for a party, and your first move is to go to the nearest lamp and surreptitiously screw in a different light bulb? Absolutely. If I could screw it in at the <laughs> entrance of the door, I would, you know, I could do right. it. So you know, I mean, you'll be seeing missing light bulbs in people's look, homes. Look, I always say technology changes culture. And if we can get to the point <laughs> when everybody has their own light bulbs and they're just sneaking <laughs> around parties, that would be great. So these two, and I just want to focus on the life safe stuff for a second. It really does seem like you said some of these are going to be big products. Some of these are going to be novelties. Where do you see the line? Like, are you are you are these experiments in the market that you're seeing where the consumers respond and then you'll invest more, or are these like this is this is Sony's vision? Well, I, I think it's a, a little bit of a mixture of both. Um, there, I wouldn't call them experiments because we are seeing the um, life space, you know, where, how people live change, and and there are trends to smaller living spaces and you know flats and studios metropolitan areas you know that whole american dream of a big house with a white picket fence it, it doesn't prevail across all generations mm -hmm. so it's not only experimental it's actually building devices and innovative devices that can get your audio and video good audio video in difficult spaces to get equipment into with these type of devices so from that point of view you know it is following trend um, from a point of view of how mass the market is then maybe experimental a little bit of novelty. Yeah. One thing that I noticed both you and Kaz said yesterday, uh, which was very interesting in sort of the, con in the context of Sony, you mentioned being profitable and wanting to run a profitable business. Kaz mentioned wanting to run a profitable business. There have always been questions about how can Sony re... TVs, I think, have been a question. How can they reassert... Which are profitable. Which are profitable. W why was that theme present yesterday? Was it more about investing in the areas that are growing? Was it more about convincing your investors and the broader public that Sony's a force? Where did that theme come from? Well, a, a couple of years ago, the, the, the theme came from our financial performance, mm -hmm. right? So so, and what we've done is we've, uh, under Kaz's leadership, we, we've changed our our direction to be what customers give us credit for, a premium brand that brings premium quality innovative products to market. The only way to do that, the only way to get back to significant R&D investment is to be profitable. Mm -hmm. So by moving back to our core in, in CE, this is, by the way, in consumer electronics, yeah. particularly in television. But moving back to our, our core capability of providing the best audio and visual quality on the market in a wonderful, beautiful, elegant design, we're now able to capture a premium. It's a value in the product, but it's a premium versus entry-level 
market share game, right? So we're not after market share. Right. We're after delivering to the customer the best experience through audio and visual quality. And by doing so, we're making money. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much it's for being here. It's been a pleasure. Here. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Look forward to it next year. Yeah, we'll be back <laughs> we'll, we'll with bring the, the next generation of turntables. It'll be amazing. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank we'll you. talk to you soon.